to differ. I beg to differ. You know, um, we have people marrying, going into marriages for various reasons. Mm. Uh, I've been married for 16 years. And I will tell you, marriage is not a bed of roses. So if someone is pulling out, let's be sure of our reasons. She has stated categorically that it wasn't about religion. And I can tell you so well. Yes, I can tell you so well. Even before the Oni, uh, you know, um, got on the throne, he was a Christian. And in the background, he has not actually forfeited that part of him. Now, um, there are other issues that have been said to arise in the palace. For instance, um, there are other women. This woman have been there before Naomi was eventually married. Naomi was married because she was single. She was not married before. She didn't have a child. All these women have been divorced and they have children. They could not be presented as the queen, but they are there now as Ayaba. You know, there's the queen and others are Ayaba. For her, it's been a struggle. It's been a struggle. And for me, I always say marriage is not 100% endurance, like that if we said. Yeah. At a point, if you think it's going to work, and it looks like two of you might kill yourself eventually one day, it's mm -hmm. wiser yeah. to step. Now, African traditional, uh, I'm also from the royal home, one part Nigeria, one part Ghanaian. African traditional um, ruling homes, uh, they're so, like my sister said above here, there's so much culture, there's so much tradition that if you don't know and you go into it, you would have to fight till the end. Now, this is not the first time Naomi is actually pulling out. She pulled out when she was pregnant. They pleaded that she returned. That was why the child was named Tade Nikawo. For the mercy, for, for the sake of the throne, reconsider. So if you are in a relationship and all you have to do is reconsider, 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 you should also give your life a thought. Are you happy at all? Are you ever happy for once? Mm -hmm. She's in a marriage yeah. where she feels she doesn't have the say. She's in a, in a marriage where she thinks she's not happy, she's not fulfilled. At this point, I am going to put religious beliefs and all those things aside for my sanity. Mm. For would we say that haven't we seen Muslims or people of other religion marry Christians and they have lasted? Haven't we seen? I'm a Christian, I'm a minister of the gospel. I'm trying not to be fanatic, I'm trying to be realistic. Haven't we seen Christians marry people from other religions and the, re re the marriage has lasted? Mm. There are two people in a marriage, but where you have six, seven, eight, ten people making decisions in a marriage, it will scatter. Mm -hmm. mm. You, see, you see, we have been taught, we have been taught silly things. Like Daddy Fritz was saying, we have been taught so many silly things. And we have grown up with those silly things. And we, we, we are beginning to reason like we are not actually the ones living in this world. Do you understand? Now, when I got married, my husband was an echist. Mm. I was a spirit coco, as in spirit, spirit girl. But I was, I was blasted, lambasted that I married an hekanka believer, what, what, what. Few years along the line, he gave his life to Christ. And he's doing well. That is not to say that we have not had our differences. As a matter of fact, while we are both Christians, we have more differences than when he was doing his stuff. But it's my personal conviction. Do you get it? Now, in the ruling home, you have the permission and the authority to marry 10 wives. Let the only marry 10 wives. And let us know that he has 10 wives. Don't stop declaring one wife where there are women who are who are, who are suppressing Naomi, who, who, are, who are choking her up. She doesn't have the liberty, the total control as the queen in the, in, the, in the palace. And you see something, very soon they are going to debunk the news. Very soon. They will debunk the news because there is all a um, manner of approach to restore peace and to bring her back. You understand? And when they do, they will tell you, oh, um, our account was hacked and all of that. Our account was yeah. not hacked. Okay. 
I'm you don't understand. But marriage, divorce, if you feel like, if I feel like, God forbid, I'm going to kill my husband one day, like maybe I'm going psycho with what is done. Withdraw. Uh, is it not wisdom for you to withdraw than kill someone and have blood on blood on your hands? So when it comes to marriage, sometimes I don't actually point fingers and and you know because there are some personal things the person must have endured and has not spoken out. Mm. That's that's my opinion. Mm, mm. Beautifully said. Beautifully said. Because we all know that marriage is an institution, and you're going there to learn a lot of things. Did she think it was going to be? A, a a rosy right even I if you marry to... one person even if you marry a person who is not an hobba even if you marry one on one for love <laughs> when just, some challenges said, come knocking at said, you what she just said now is part of my question and i want to go but i want to quickly say something before oh. going into a royal home i think we all know that there are so many things attached to it like there will be many Thank you. and there will be so many people giving orders and even your thing before you could proceed with so many things you will even have to discuss with the chief cabinet and all that so we all know that before getting into a royal home there are so so many certain things that your your, your husband your king will not be able to do by himself so my own point of view is that she she made a bold self she like what I read in the comment section, she might think that maybe she coming into the palace, she can help with so many things with prayer and all that. But if it doesn't work, fine. If she she will go back there later, or if it doesn't work for her, her happiness, a good life, her prosperity is the most important things for her. And thank God, what I read, she said she has um she has never get pregnant before, but she has a child yes. in that marriage. So one of the good things. So she did, she did not lose nothing. She lose nothing. She might be out there with another man and she might not get pregnant or something. But I'm happy for her. She has the fruit from me. Something she can look up to as a reward from God. When we were young, our parents had some of our parents, or if our direct parents didn't have it. Our parents, uh, family friends, had two wives, three wives, four wives, and we were in the Orthodox churches. Methodist, Anglican, and the likes. They were Christians then. And they were living peacefully, cohabiting with the children and the and and you know the step wife and the siblings and everything, and there was no issue whatsoever. So I believe that at some point, I'm I'm not, I'm trying to stay away from religion, you know, and focus on us as Africans. That's why I'm quite open, you know. So if at this point I decide to marry a, a man with three wives, for instance, I know that I'm going in there for rivalry. And I would be facing certain things. But at the same time, I still feel that as humans, when you get to a point where your mental health or your state of mind is jeopardized, and two of you cannot relate, cannot cohabit, cannot work anymore, you should let go. You should let go.